<sighs> so, Tifa told me that you offered to help us with our next mission. I politely explained to her that I'd rather shoot my own nuts off with my gun hand than go one more minute with your ass. She then told me that you offered to work for free. I informed her that you couldn't pay me enough to put up with you. She rebutted with a kick to my pecker so hard that for a second I think I was a woman. When she threatened to do it again, I reconsidered. I'll give your ass one last chance. Great. I'm so glad I have your approval. Don't push your luck, Waddy. Or so help me, I will jam my gun hand down your throat and fill you with lead from the inside out. Yeah, I'll bet you'd like to force something down my throat. Why, you son of a- Ahem. <clears throat> Not that this little exchange isn't productive and all, but don't we need to catch the next train headed for the Sector 4 power plant? Hmm. <laughs> You're right. We'll settle this later, Blondie. Fine by me, Black Dynamite. Alright, team, we're here. Now spread out between the cars. Oh dear, I was afraid of this. G get a hold of yourself, Jonathan. Remember your breathing exercises. Okay, breathe, gotta Jonathan. make sure the coast is breathe. clear. And don't make eye contact. Am I making you uncomfortable or something, mister? Uh, as, as a matter of fact, yes. Your group is ruining Midgar. Oh, and I reckon you got all that info from the evening news. You believe everything you see on TV, foo? And, and why shouldn't I? All you ever do is wreak havoc for your own personal gain. That's where you're wrong, mofo. We ain't doing all this illegal shit for ourselves. We're doing it to save the planet. Well, I Avalanche fail to see how drive-bys, liquor store robberies, and bike thefts are helping to save the planet. You people are just the worst kind of- Oh! I'm talking about Avalanche. What are you talking about? Well, isn't it obvious? You're black. You little mother- Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no! We could oh. black! Does that oh. win you too? Oh my goodness, the suit! Oh! My name is Cloud. I have a sword. I fight actors because I'm bored. I like to ride on chocobos. It's better than having afros. Soak it up, wimp. Hey Tifa, doesn't Shinra have ID scanners set up through the railway? Those things are sure to recognize that ours have been blacklisted since the attack yesterday, right? Only if we're on the train when it reaches one of the checkpoints. We'll just jump off before then. Alright, but what about getting into the facility? I don't think Shinra's gonna fall for the same trick twice. Hmm, you're right. We'll need to improvise. Do you have any ideas, Cloud? Meh. That's okay. We'll cross that bridge when we get- Alert! Blacklisted identification cards detected on the train. Huh? The checkpoint wasn't supposed to be so soon. They must have added some since yesterday. It's almost like they were expecting it. Shit. Quick, to the frontmost car. We gotta meet up with the others to coordinate. Go! Fuck you, white boy! Now you know how I feel when you fuse with me. Alright, we're here. What now, Mr. T? Now? Now I'll riddle you with more holes than an M. Night Shyamalan flick, you scrawny ass shit! Barret. Fine! We can't all risk jumping off at the same time, lest we all get caught at once. Tifa, Tortoise Boy, and me will go first and make a beeline for the Sector 4 reactor. Jess, you and the others go about 30 seconds later. Break! So, Jesse, you look mighty fine as a male guard. Wait, that, that didn't come out right. And what you were trying to say was going to be better. Good. Everything's going as planned. Yeah, except for the part where our cover was blown. You know they'll have a trap set up for us now, right? Crack a hush. Let's get moving before Shinra's gods show up. Alright, the charges are set. Now, is this a timed detonation, or a remote detonation? Remote. Are you sure? Come on, Barrett. That joke's only funny once. Wasn't funny the first time, if you ask me. We're almost out. The exit should be right here. Shinra soldiers? How'd they know we were coming? Gee, I wonder. Uh, it's not just soldiers. 
Well, well, well. Avalanche, how kind of you to corner yourselves for me. Uh, well, actually, if it ain't the big left. cheese himself, don't you have some we orphanages out. to shut down or something? Guys. No, hey guys, that's my four o'clock appointment. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. Shoot him. I'd Come hate on, to take time out of a monster's right, schedule. Out of here if he's such a goddamn monster, monster then shoot him. Oh, come now, Pop. You didn't think I was a monster when you were working win. for me? No disrespect, oh, sir. Barrett. But have you even looked at your own come benefits on. plan? Why? The policy's made <gasps> out to you. Fine. Yeah? What's the problem? See what I care. Benefits are meant for the family. Oh, whoopsies. I've heard enough. It's time to finish you and your company once and for- Summon the airman! Hey, it looks nothing like airman. Yeah. Well, we had to make some cuts because some tree huggers had to go and blow up one of my reactors. Anyway, ta-ta for now. Oh ho 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 ho. Alright, team. Keep your guard up. I see it's blue line. Hang on, I got an idea. Oops. Didn't see you there, Cloud. My bad. Barrett, you team killing fucktard! Cloud, just hold on. As long as the detonator's intact, we'll have plenty of time to get to you. Uh, about that. You lying motherfucker! Cloud! Woman, he ain't worth it. And that was Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Free Fallen. Speaking of petty, if you have some petty cash on you, why not spend it at the Sector 6 shopping district? There's the local inn, complete with vending machine for that midnight hankering. Or you could stop on in at the restaurant there and uh, order their daily special. They'll even throw in a free pharmacy coupon. Just tell them Zach sent ya. We'll be taking a quick commercial break. And of all the places he lands, it's right into my garden. Fan fucking tastic! I spent all this time planting the flowers, watering the flowers, pruning the flowers, and for what? So Wiley Coyote here can crash right down on top of him. Get up, asshole! I'm gonna kick your. Uh, oh, it's where the hot guy. Am I? Oh dear, you poor thing. Can you walk? Yeah, I think so. Oh, thank goodness. The ceiling and flowers was the cushion to your fall. Oh, so these three shattered vertebrae—that's just my imagination. Oh, hey, you're the flower girl from earlier. Yes, my name's Aerith. Really? You look like an heiress to me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> well, uh, I know I gave you my number, but I didn't expect you to drop in on me. <laughs> so, uh, what's your name? Cloud. Oh, really? <laughs> I thought clouds were supposed to float. <laughs> you don't talk to boys often, do you? Not really. So, what happened? How'd you end up falling? Would you believe that God threw me out of heaven for being too pretty? Yes? Let's go with that, then. Hey, do you know that guy? No, I can't say I do. Can I help you? Oh, uh, hello, sir. I'm, I'm Reno, and... I've been uh, instructed to kidnap that young lady over there, uh, if, if that's alright with you. Hang on, I'll check. He asked if he could kidnap you. Oh, I see. Well, please tell him thank you for the offer, but I simply must decline. One minute. She says thanks, but no thanks. R Really? I I mean, my boss will be s super mad at me if I return like, e empty-handed. What if I threw in a pony? You're right back. He says there's a pony in it for you. <gasps> a pony? Ooh, ask him what kind! Uh... Then 
last one we get at least pan to look like Rainbow Dash. That's it! Look, pal, she's not that into you. Good day! Um, after them? Th there they are. Thank you for taking me with you, Cloud. Sure, whatever. Don't, like, let them escape and, s and stuff. Damn it! There goes my only healer. Actually, I'm okay. Oh, cool. But there are a few Shinra soldiers here too. I could certainly use some assistance. Hmm. What was I know? Oof! I have my reservations about apprehending a lady, but. Thank you, Cloud. I'll be up shortly. Did you know that man back there? Eh, not personally. But he did have a Turk's uniform on. The Turks are a task force in charge of Shinra's dirty work. But... what do they want with me? That's nobody's business but the Turks. Anyways, I gotta head back over to beat back up with my... teammates. Um... Cloud? Since Shinra's after me, I'd feel much safer if I was by you. May I accompany you? Oh, sure, I guess. Just let me switch out some of my equipment before we head out. Off my defense. That goes here. Give me that. And that should do it. Wait, Cloud. I have open item and material slots too. Don't you want to equip me for the long adventure ahead? Uh, no, no, I don't. I don't think you'll need it. Huh? Why not? Uh, well, if we're careful enough, we could avoid putting you in harm's way altogether. Ah, I see your point. You're ever so thoughtful. Uh, sure, don't mention it. Now, I'm going to be more focused on protecting you, so I'm going to need you to carry on the conversation for me. But I, I'm still listening. I promise. Um, very well. So, my first boyfriend was also Oh, soldier. God. So take me back to Constantinople. No, you can't go back to Constantinople. Been a long time gone. Constantinople, why did Constantinople get the works? That's nobody's business but the Turks. Cloud, have you been coaching Marlene on speaking again? Whatever do you mean? She said nothing but ellipsis all morning. I have taught you well, young Padawan.